What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind and why. Why, you might ask, are you looking at my big-ass head? Well, <laughs> this story right here uh, is actually relevant because uh, there's technology out here, guys. And, you know, I like to talk about, you know, like the advances in technology and stuff. I'm not a tech head or anything like that. I just feel that, you know, being a sci-fi person, certain things kind of like you know, set off bells, you know, for me, even if nobody else can hear it, which is ironic because this story is about that very thing. It's about technology now that says that it can put music in your head with no headphones required. All right, guys, new device puts music in your head with no headphones required. Oh my gosh, uh, what could go wrong with this? All right, this is on ksl.com and it says here, London, Imagine a world where you move around in your own personal sound bubble. You listen to your favorite tunes, play loud computer games, watch a movie, or get navigation directions in your car, all without disturbing those around you. That's how they're going to sell it, huh? That's the possibility presented by Sound Beaming, a new futuristic audio technology from Nuveto Systems, an Israeli company. On Friday, it will debut a desktop device that beams sounds directly to a listener without the need for headphones, all right? Hence the reason why you're seeing my big bald dome, all right? So they're going to beam sounds up in here, all right? The rest of you might not be able to hear it, but did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's what they're doing, okay? So, um, you know, get a load of this, guys. The company provided the Associated Press with an exclusive demo of the desktop prototype of a sound beamer. I wonder how many brains they melted before they came up with a functioning uh, system. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sound Beamer 1.0 before its launch on Friday. The listening sensation is straight out of a sci-fi movie. The 3D sound is so close, it feels like it's, insi it's inside your ears while also in front above and behind them. Novato expects the device will have plenty of practical uses from allowing office workers to listen to music or conference calls without interrupting colleagues to letting someone play a game, movie, or music without disturbing their significant others. Wow, they really, they're pushing this isolation thing, guys. Now you're going to be a prisoner inside your own mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just enough to have headphones now. They just have to somehow beam it into your brain like past your skull past your oh my god i don't know about this um <clears throat> the lack of headphones means it's possible to hear others in the room clearly the technology uses a 3d sensing module and locates and tracks the ear position sending audio via ultrasonic waves to create sound pockets by the user's ears Sound can be heard in stereo or spatial 3D mode that creates 360 degree sound around the listener, the company said, so it really is like a bubble. The demo includes nature video clips of swans on a lake, bees buzzing, and somebody whispering, kill, kill, kill. No, 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 and a babbling brook where the listener feels completely transported into the scene. But even CEO Christopher Ramstein finds it hard to put the concept into words. The, the brain doesn't understand what it doesn't know, he said. In a Novato demonstration conducted via Zoom from Tel Aviv, Sound Beamer product manager Ayana Wildwater was in, unable to hear the sound of gunshots on a gaming demo. But that's the point. But she does get to enjoy the reactions of people trying the software for the first time. Most people just say, wow, I really don't believe it, she said. You don't believe it because it sounds like a speaker, but no one else can hear it. It's supporting you and you're in the middle of everything. It's happening around you. <laughs> oh my God. By changing a setting, a, the sound can follow a listener around when they move their head. It's also possible to move out of the beam's path and hear nothing at all, which creates a surreal experience. You don't need to tell the device where you are. It's not streaming to one exact place. Wallwater said, it follows you wherever you go, so it's personally for you, it follows you, it plays what you want inside your head. This is what we dream of, she adds, <laughs> I gotta stick with it, a world where we get the sound you want, 
You don't need to disturb others, and others don't get disturbed by your sound, but you can still interact with them. Wow, so you're hearing something just in your head while you speak to the other people around you, and they don't hear that. I don't, how do you even get used to that, guys? They, there was a, a name for that a long time ago, right? And it was crazy when you were just hearing like sounds out of nowhere. And like, how did they do this testing, guys? Because every now and then I would see on the news when somebody would wipe out like the people at their job, you know, sometimes there'd be this little detail in the story where they would say leading up to the massacre, they heard things inside of their head telling them to do it. You know what I mean? Could it be? I'm just wondering... Could it be that there have been testing going on this whole time? Like, this technology just didn't drop out of nowhere. How do you do this? After his first listening experience, Ramstein asked himself how it was different from other audio devices. I was thinking, yeah, but it's the same with headphones? No, because I have the freedom. And it's like, I have the freedom of doing what I want to do. And I have all these sounds playing in my head. And there would be something happening here, which is difficult to explain, because we have no reference for that. While the concept of sound beaming is not new, Navetto was the first to launch the technology, and their Sound Beamer 1.0 desktop device will be the first branded consumer product. Ramstein had a smaller, sexier version of the prototype, and it will be ready for consumer release time uh, in time for Christmas to, uh, 2021. It's getting weird out here, guys. You know, I was trying to think of how we compare sound beaming with any other inventions in history. And I think the only one that came to mind is the first time I tried the iPod. I was like, oh my God, what's that? I think sound beaming is something that is as disruptive as that. There's something to be said that it didn't exist before. There's the freedom of using it. And it's really amazing. Hoi mashogana. All right, so that's the end of the article, guys. And um, there it is, guys. This is where we're heading. All right, um, is this something that you're going to be rushing out to get? Are you going to be among the first to get sounds beamed into your head that only you can hear? All right, are, are we cool with that? I mean, it it's getting bizarre out here. I say no thank you. I'm going to pass on that one. I can't do it, guys. It's like I already have, like, Things going on in my mind all the time. My mind is always racing. I don't need stuff like that. And what happens if something somehow mal mal malfunctions? You know what I mean? What happens then? Like, how do you fix that in the way that it bounces off your brain and in your mind? Why are we doing this? Is it not enough that we have earbuds and stuff like that? You need to actually have something that distorts your, your sensory uh, perceptions that much where only you can experience it? Is this something that you want your children to be subject to? Can you imagine that? Your ch oh my God, no, I no, I ah uh, no. But you know, that's just me, guys. I, I'm a dinosaur anyway. Maybe I just don't want to get with it and I don't want to change. But uh, what do you guys think, man? Is this something you're gonna be down with? Um, share your views, man. Have you have you ever heard voices in your head? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, let's get real here. Let's chat. All right. Uh, Ah, oh my God. But anyway, yeah, so get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about all this stuff. As always, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe. You can uh, catch me on Twitter. I will leave the link in the description box below. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I'll catch you on the next one. Me and my big head. That's it for now. All right, guys, this is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.